moms, welcome back to my channel, Home and Arrows. My name is Shirley and I'm a homeschooling mom of five kids. And today I'm gonna to talk to you about having one word when you are rolling into a new year. If you don't know what that means or what that is all about, stay tuned, because I'm not only gonna tell you what it's about, but I'm also gonna share with you what my one word for 2019 is gonna be. So Christmas is over and a new year is right around the corner. And about this time, every single year, I start to think about what my one word for the following year is going to be. Now, you might not have even ever heard of what I'm talking about as far as picking one word for a year. And so here is what that means. The new year is the time of year when lots of people are just making new goals, new plans, New Year's resolutions. And having a one word is kind of like having a New Year's resolution, but one of the benefits for me of doing it this way, having just one word, is that picking one word just kind of narrows the focus down for me. It narrows things down so that I'm not overwhelmed by wanting to accomplish all of these different goals for myself. Let's face it, we all have a ton of things that we can work on in our lives, right? Now, can you imagine if every year for say five, six, seven, eight, nine, or 10 years, you picked one word and focused on something in yourself to improve on? Can you imagine how drastically different your life would look over the span of five to 10 years? So that is one of the reasons that I just love picking and focusing on one word. Now, before I move into telling you what my one word for 2019 is, I thought it would be kind of fun to share with you some of my past one words that I've had. So in 2017, my one word was gentleness. You might wonder, well, how do you even find or pick your one word? I'm a Christian, and so a big part of that process for me looks like spending time in prayer. And what I found is that usually my one word is partnered with a passage of scripture. For example, in 2017, my one word was gentleness. I really felt like God was laying it on my heart to focus on becoming a more gentle wife, a more gentle mother. And that, that word was partnered with a passage of scripture. It came from Ephesians 4 verses 2 through 3, and I'm gonna read it to you. Ephesians 4, 2 through 3 says, with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another in love, eager to maintain the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace. And so what that meant for me was that I was really desiring that having a more gentle spirit in my home would produce a more peaceful environment in my home. I clung to that verse that year and I clung to that one word and I really made an effort that in all things, I would be more gentle. I love how that verse also, I love how that verse also goes on to say, with patience, bearing with one another in love. Not only did I desire to be more gentle, but I desired to be more patient and bearing with my children in love when things didn't go exactly the way I wanted them to or when they didn't act the way that I wanted them to. So that one word, because I partnered it with a verse, really encompassed a whole lot of meaning for me. And so this last year, 2018, my one word was planted. And again, that word came out of a passage of scripture and it came from Psalm 1. And I'll read to you what Psalm 1 says. It says this, Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of scoffers, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and on that law he meditates day and night. He shall be like a tree planted by the streams of water that yields its fruit in its season, and its leaf does not wither. And so what that meant for me was, I had a lot going on last year as far as things that I was involved with and doing. The first six months of the year, I was on staff at my church, and you know, um, later in the year, I started this YouTube channel and homeschooling and just all the things, right? Being a part of coming up with creative services for my church. And my heart's desire was that I would see really good fruit out of all of those things that I had my hand in last year. And so a big part of that, what I felt like the Lord was showing me, if I wanted to see good fruit, I knew that I had to stay planted in God's word. Like Psalm 1 says, like a tree planted by the rivers of living water, I knew that I could not 
bear the kind of good fruit in my life that I needed to unless I really stayed planted in God's word. And so that's where my word this last year came from. So now my word for 2019 that I really feel like God has laid on my heart is the word presence. This word for me actually has a twofold meaning. Again, it's partnered with a passage of scripture and that passage comes from the book of Psalms 16 verse 11 and it says, you will show me the path of life and in your presence is fullness of joy. This coming year, I feel like my husband and I kind of have a lot of maybe things going on in our lives that we're going to really need to narrow our scope. We're really going to need for God to reveal to us step by step the path and the direction that he wants us to take. So that's the first part of that verse. You will show me the path of life and in your presence is fullness of joy. I know that it's when I seek God's presence that those steps are going to be more clearly revealed to me, but also I know that it's in God's presence that I am filled with joy. I just desire so greatly to be a joyful wife and a joyful mom, and I know that that cannot come just me in and of myself. I need God's strength and God's power in order for me to exude that kind of constant joy. Now, I tend to be kind of an idealistic person in life anyways. I, I love to make life fun for my family and I love to make life fun for my kids and I just tend to think that life is just this beautiful gift. Um, but I just want to even more so have an overflow of joy happening in my life and I know that only can come from being in God's presence. And so it's making another effort this year to stay planted in God's presence. The second part of that word for me is being present when I am home and with my kids and with my family. Just like you all, I have a ton of things vying for my time and my attention. And a lot of what I do is online. And so it requires me to be on my phone. It requires me to um, be on my laptop a lot. And so I just really want to make sure that this year I am very present in the lives of my kids. You know, as a homeschooling mom, you are with your kids all the time, but you can also be with your kids, but not be with your kids. Do you know what I mean? I want to be 80 years old, rocking on my rocking chair, looking back on my life, full of good, beautiful memories and no regrets. And I don't ever want to look back and wish that I had been on my phone less and wish that I had been on my laptop less. I have the ability to shape our memories now and have the ability to control that right now. And so I'm going to make a very concerted effort in 2019 to be more present. And that's just gonna take a lot of um, planning on my part. And that's all it is. It's really scheduling my time better. It's saying from this time to this time, the phone is gone, the laptop is gone. and Finding times, whether it's earlier in the morning or later in the evening, when nobody is needing my time or my attention and using those times. It's just gonna take more planning on my part and I'm totally okay with that. That's actually a very good thing. So I am really looking forward to 2019, you guys. We have some super fun things planned and, and this YouTube channel is a big part of that. If you have subscribed to our channel, I just wanna say thank you so much. It's something that I felt like God laid on my heart in January of this year. And it took me all the way till August to say, okay, Lord, I'm gonna give this thing a shot. So if you've ever watched, liked, commented, or subscribed to our channel, I just wanna say thank you so much. And I'm really excited about the content that we plan on bringing you guys in 2019. And if you have one word for 2019, I seriously would love to hear what it is and the reasoning behind it. Or if you've never done a one word, take the next few days, think about and pray about what that one word for you could be. And I would love for you to share it with us even if it's later. Until next time, bye.